Hi everyone. I want to make a recording of the first step of starting trading on mainnet sims. Uh, I will share my screen now. As you can see, I went on Fairy Crown WTF Sim 1. And here uh, I have a lot of information about mainnet sims, but also some instructions. The first step would be to install the Vega wallet. You can do that by accessing vega.xyz and then click on get Vega wallet. And here we can download the desktop app for Fairground or we can get a specific release, including testnet. I just want to mention that testnet and Fairground mean the same thing uh, in Vega. I'm going to click on this link and this will actually direct me to a GitHub page with all the releases for the Vega wallet desktop. I'm interested, of course, in getting the latest release. So I'm going to expand this little arrow here, uh, this little drop down with assets. And I will try to download one that's suitable for my operating system and my type of laptop. I'm going to get this one, the desktop Mac OS um, Apple Silicon. I will save it. If um, Chrome has any warnings, I will uh, keep continuing uh, downloading this wallet. This is still in early stage. This is still an alpha product. Um, as you can see on the screen, it has been, so the zip file has been open. And uh, this small Vega wallet, uh, I can appear on my desktop and now I'm ready to open it. This is the first time when I'm uh, using it. I do get this warning that this is an app downloaded from the internet. This is the usual warning that you get from um, applications that are not downloaded from MacBook apps, app, app Store. I'm going to go ahead and open it. And as you can see, uh, this is the main page. I haven't, um, I, I haven't had other configuration of, on this wallet before. I do have I have had other wallets, um, but I did not have a configuration for Fairground specifically. Um, I do have some existing wallets found, and here is a list. Um, I'm gonna go on manage networks. So, Okay, I just want to demo exactly how you can set it up for Fairground. I'm going to go on Manage Networks and I'm going to remove it for just for the sake of this demo. Uh, because you need to make sure whenever you're trading that you're trading on Fairground, right? We have what we're doing now, it's mainnet simulation. So we are not basically trading on mainnet, mainnet. Uh, we need to make sure that we are adding the correct network configuration. So I've clicked on the button that says add network. And now um, I need to add the config.toml file, um, or I can import it if I have it on my local machine, or I can um, pass a URL. This URL can be found in the mainnet sims page, actually right here underneath the video. If you click on, if you do click here, it, you actually have step-by-step step, uh, all the things that you need to do in order to add the correct network. But this is what I was looking for, this URL that I want to add to my wallet. I'm gonna paste this URL. I'm gonna give a name, Fairground. And I'm gonna import it. Okay, import successful. I'm gonna go back. And the wallet service is running successfully as it says this indicator in the footer of the wallet, successfully on this specific port. I am ready to continue. Uh, I have my wallet open. And now I just want to start use Vega and start trading. On this mainnet sims page, I have like this very big 
in your face button that says use console. So let's see, let's check out the console. I've opened the console and um, for me, it opened by default this market, ETHXDAI, which is actually the market that I want to start trading on for mainnet simulations. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna connect my Vega wallet. And as you can see on my left-hand side, I need to approve the connection. This is typical wallet behavior. I'm gonna approve, add quickly my passphrase so that no one can see it. <laughs> All right. And now my wallet is successfully connected. Yeah, first let's let's take a look uh, on, on, on the screen. Let's start with the main thing. I have this console um, and a very yellow header that indicates I'm on a fairground, which is um, our testnet. Here I have a dropdown where I can actually switch to multiple networks, switch this decentralized application to run on different networks. Uh, I can click on markets to view all the list of all markets. Right now I'm on the trading page. I can also check portfolio or the governance website. Uh, what I want to do is basically to start trading. So what I have on the screen, I have this particular market uh, view where on the left-hand side, I have the chart. In the middle, I have you know the deal ticket information where I can actually input fields and place my order. And on the right-hand side, I have... Uh, the order book and the list of trades. On the left hand side, coming back again, I I see by default um, the candlestick chart. Uh, I can set up the interval the way I want. I can also change the type of the chart uh, that I want to visualize. I can check, you know, mountain or line. Or anyway, I'm gonna keep candlestick for now. I can add multiple overlays or studies. Right now, by default, I also have the volume chart open. So you can also check the volume that's getting traded on these particular intervals. All right. Um, on the right-hand side, of course, I have the order book and the trades, as I just mentioned. So this is basic, um, uh, this is a very basic view. So for example, in, in trades, uh, all the prices uh, that are colored in Vega pink, that actually means a short trade and in green, that actually indicates a long, a buy. Um, and if you want to get a better information uh, about the market depth, uh, you of course, you can check, you know, the order book or the depth chart and this one is basically drawn based on the mid market price. I'm gonna go back to my chart for now. And the next step would be for me to place a trade. There are multiple types of orders, actually just a couple of types of orders. You can create um, a market order or, lim or a limit order. The difference between these two is um, that they can be traded uh, at different set uh, times. So for example, if I want to place a market order, I can uh, place only an order that will be an immediate or cancel or a fill or kill, and it will be traded at this indicative price. And for the limit, however, I can actually specify the type of price at which I want to buy or sell, and the time it force, uh, which of course can, it can be also good till cancel, good for normal, good till time. So that one would have like an expiry date that I can set. Um, this price, I can set it up myself as I consider, you know, uh, in order to make a profit. I can also select like one of the prices from the order book and this will pre-populate the price. Um, and I can also adjust the size that I want to I want to trade. Of course, I need to make sure that I have enough collateral. 
So in order to quickly deposit collateral, I can um, go on the collateral tab and click deposit. For this, I need to have my uh, Ethereum wallet connected so that I can basically deposit assets that um, in, in my case are, are in my MetaMask wallet. So I'm gonna connect my MetaMask wallet which it would be good to be configured on the Sepolia network. Then I can go ahead and uh, select the asset, the settlement asset that I want to use when I start trading. I'm going to start trading. So this is uh, DAI mainnet sims. And if I don't think I have enough, then I can click on get X die. Um, Oh, sorry. Apparently for this one, I think we already had it transferred uh, in, in MetaMask. Uh, so we won't be able to get like a Sepolia for this particular asset. But what I can do is, yeah, sorry again. I'm going to select the asset that I want to trade on. And then because I already have um, some of this uh, asset in my wallet, I can click on use maximum, or I can type in the amount that I want to deposit for now as collateral. I'm gonna go ahead, click deposit, and there is an action required. This uh, just popped up. Uh, so th this, this browser just popped up uh, my MetaMask notification. So, I went to my wallet application and I need now to approve or reject the transaction. I'm gonna click confirm. Now I'm waiting for the confirmation. You can also check it on letter scan if you want. You also have a progress bar that uh, it indicates um, how much you you need to wait um, and you know the numbers of confirmations. Right now there are three. I'm trying to deposit only 10 DAI, but that's because I already have like 20 just before. And for the sake of this demo, I'm not going to try to uh, buy a lot of ETH. So I'm going to place very little limit orders. It's important to mention that transactions on Vega, they are much uh, faster. But yeah, I guess this process where I, uh, you are trying to deposit from the... Um, from Ethereum, it takes a little bit more, um, but it's totally worth it. So let's start trading. Cool, transaction is confirmed. I can see in the collateral tab that uh, the total amount has been updated. Uh, I can close this notification for now. I think I do have enough collateral for as little as I want to trade. So I'm going to I'm going to try to place a long limit order which means buy, right? If I do short, this means sell and the colors um indicate that. So I'm trying to buy some ETH for um XDAI and this is the price uh for which I want to buy, which is better than um the mark price that I can see right here. So I'm I'm going to I'm going to place a good till cancel order. And as you can see, like if if I do edit this price, um, the notional size changes, the fees uh, get updated, the margin estimation gets updated as well, and the liquidation. The notional size is very simple. That means it's just you know uh, multiplying the size with the price, and the fees um, are actually a fraction out of the notional size. And they will be um, paid at the moment when this transaction actually executes, not the moment when you are placing the order. So this is very important. And you can see exactly where the fees that you're paying um, are going to. So this is actually split in between infrastructure, liquidity, and maker fee. And here you in this little tip, you can also see the total. There is also the margin. The margin is important because you must post margin to cover any potential losses that you may incur. Uh, and this is typically a fraction of the notional position size. 
and the liquidation. The liquidation is important, right? Because um, I I want to know if I'm if I'm placing this order, um, you know, at, at at which price I would actually get liquidated. But apparently, I have just enough collateral. Um, and uh, now I think I'm ready to trade. I'm gonna click on place order. As you can see, I got this notification, uh, an action required to go to your Viga wallet, which is uh, right on my left-hand side to approve or reject the transaction. Here is the order um, shape of my... I'm gonna click approve. This has been connected to my DAP. Yeah, and now it is confirmed. I can click on orders and I can check if my order has appeared. Awesome. I can also click on the info tab. Uh, if you want to get more information about um, the market, you can check the market data with all the current fees. Um, you can also check, you know, the market information about market price and market volume, but also some information regarding uh, the spec of this market, right? So what is the market ID? Um, different things like what is the trading mode? So right now it's trading continuously. Um, what are the position decimal places? You've seen that I, I traded 0 0.02. Uh, however, if I try to trade 0 0.002, then I would actually get an error because the position decimal places are two. So I'm going lower than that. So size cannot be lower than 0 0.01. So that's important. You can check all these specs uh, of the market. And as, as you know, like Vega allows permissionless market creation um, and all these markets have been proposed. So we do have this section, which is called market governance. And if you expand this little arrow here, here you see uh, two links. You can also propose a change to this market, but you can also view the governance proposal. So let's click on this link. And this actually directs us to the governance tab. And here you can see the proposal for the F -E type, uh, if type market for mainnet sims. Uh, here we can see the vote breakdown, but also the proposal terms. All right. So I invite you to check that yourself. Bye.